Hi, I'm Amanda and I've been coming to Spam for about four years now. Spam has really been a lifeline for me. I came out of a very violent and um, bad relationship and was quickly a very young single mum. So over the past year we've worked with um, over 350 people. Without them I really wouldn't have got out in the community. They've given me so much here. I've been through the Freedom Programme, I've met with other people on the um, just the drop-in sessions, just being able to get out of the house. Because when I started I didn't speak to anybody. I couldn't even look up from the floor and now I'm doing so many courses. I've done courses to train and now I'm doing an MVQ to, to get you know further in my education and to get into work. I first came here at the point my daughter was probably about two years old. I was a PhD student at the university but I couldn't get any help to pay for childcare so I had to drop out of my course. I had to leave what I was doing because of the fact that I was a single parent. There's going to be big cuts around childcare. We're already seeing that taking place. So some of the services you'll see in SPAN, they will be cut for sure, uh, and families are gonna suffer. I have a research background. Um, I speak many languages, but I felt that it was very difficult for me to get a job here in Bristol at the same time as I was a parent. That's what I see with a lot of parents one of their biggest barriers to actually going into work is to find a job that allows them to, to be a parent and to work. Whilst these cuts are taking place, at the same time there's an expectation that people take up work, and you know, in our case particularly single parents. Well, what work is out there? If you're involved in communities and with single parents, it's such a thriving community. There's so much energy, there's so much spirit because single parents themselves have had to survive very, very difficult situations. They've been displaced very often, have to move through violence um, from one city to another. Refugees and asylum seekers too also displaced. And of course the impact for the future, for generations is such, Unless families are empowered and supported through cha training, childcare, um, better jobs, etc., then the impact on society is, is going to be really negative. Hello, my name is Sarah. Uh, this is Amina. I have been coming in the uh, span for about two years. I was a single parent and they provided me a uh, childcare. After that, me and Amina did the, the GIFAS train as a facilitator. That's what we are doing now. And that group is a Somali group, so we have opportunity to talk also our language in Somali and teach them what we have been learning. So it's good and we still continue. We realise that we can do a difference for our community. There's a lot of talk around money coming in at a local level and local decision making and empowerment of people. Actually, that isn't the case at all. What we're seeing nationally is big organisations scooping up large amounts of money and that not going to filter down to the good aspects. I think. There's a rhetoric that goes, yes, we want things to happen at a local level, but in reality, the, the, the control is nationally and with big money-making organisations. It's really critical that investment is made into areas like this because there's so much that people will give to their community without support. This man gives us a uh, confident and to show our road to our ambition, so it's really helpful for us. Without them, I, I probably, I, I don't know where I'd be now, really. They've been really important to me.